Here comes the A-lister. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Hollywood, California. Weighing in at 221 pounds, The Miz. The Miz, one of the savviest veteran superstars in all of WWE. He's the first ever two-time WWE Grand Slam winner. He's held the tag titles, the Intercontinental title, the U.S. title, and the WWE title, all on more than one occasion. You simply cannot deny the Miz's credentials. He knows how to win. The WWE Universe just exploded. That's because L.A. Knight is here. And yeah. his opponent from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 241 pounds, L.A. Knight. Knight made headlines when he became a breakout superstar. Now he's on the type of ascent that can't be stopped. Facing a man in the Miz who knows how to win, who will take any opportunity to capitalize. Here we have one of the biggest names in all of WWE, the A-lister, the Miz. At least he'll say he's one of the biggest names in WWE. Like him or hate him, Miz has been successful everywhere he goes. Reality TV, Hollywood, and countless main events in WWE. Anywhere there's a camera, the Miz is going to do all he can to get in front of him. Looking at the A-lister, I think he's ready to star in another big-time victory and get his next chance to soak up the spotlight. Well, he's in there with a world-traveled competitor in L.A. Knight, which means he's got his work cut out for him. Knight arrives where the action's at, in a car worth more than most humans' lives. He seeks out obstacles, overcomes them, and snags a blonde on the way out the door. He says it's his game, and by all standards, it is. Close line in the corner. Debilitating attack on the leg. What are we about to see? Showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an onslaught. Heads Whoa. out of the ring. What's next? <laughs> Considering how both Miz and LA Knight love to soak up the spotlight, I wouldn't be surprised if this match devolved into a battle of pure one-upsmanship. Well, they should both be careful if that's the case. Trying to keep going bigger than your opponent could take you into some very dangerous territory. Set up for the side rush and leg sweep. And this perhaps lost a bit of focus there. Knight looking like a certified megastar going on the offensive. A back and forth matchup between these two men, both jockeying for the advantage. Well, what? Stay out of harm's way. Yeah, I don't want anything to do with this opponent, but I don't think he's going to have a choice, guys. Uh, you're not getting very far. Oh, 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 oh. Perfectly laid trap. The superstar was lured into the trap. Uh, this is only going to heighten the intensity of this matchup. What are you guys thinking? Obviously, the refs count, Cole. on the outside. And he gets delivered to the ring. Oh, no, this isn't going to end well. Oh, oh, my God. Surfboard leg breaker. Looking like the action is a little more than Knight had bargained for. 
Yeah, Miz saw the opportunity and did not hesitate. Tagging this outside. This could be good. Sky high. Diving brain chop. He's got him down. Is this it? Only a one count before the kick out. He's far from finished. Brutal stomp to the body. And oh, and then the chest as well. Cheap shot, Corey. And here we go. Wasting little time. The brawl's underway. The bell hasn't even rung yet. If this is any indication, this is going to be a wild matchup. Well, the match is starting outside the ring. A whole hell has broken loose. This match is off to a rocky start after some blows were exchanged before the bell. But now these superstars look ready for even more action. Certainly a very dramatic start to this contest. Just goes to show how intense this match is going to be. Yeah, clearly this fight has been a long time coming, and now there's no more holding back. You want to control the tempo, you want to dictate the pace, that right there is how you do it. And he sends him into the corner. Good timing with that reversal. Uh-oh. Harlem side kick. Knew what trick had coming. Here he comes off the tag. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Focusing on a body part, picking it apart. The arm's as good of a place to focus as any. Here's the cover. Gets the shoulder up after one. Loose cover leads to a strong kick out. Ah, kick! Nasty kick. Shot down low. And a clothesline for the exclamation point. Boom! On a drop kick. On the mark. Carefully placed stump to the arm. And a tag there. This is sick. He's got him down. Is this it? He gets the shoulder up in two. He really thought that was it. Tag made. Fresh man in. Able to get there in time. Measuring. Oh, face stop. Tag switching it up. Takedown, Fujiwara armbar. Ah, oh, Fujiwara armbar applied. Making the arm numb makes your opponent very vulnerable. Tag is good. Oh, man. shot right to the midsection. For the record, Saxton, you and I would never have that kind of chemistry. Hey, I'd be a great teammate. I've seen you trip over your own left foot. No thank you. This match grinded him down a little. 
That's the kind of physicality we can expect from Trick. for the tag. Measuring. Oh, face stop. And guys, now I see blood on the face of Dominic. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. the tag. Super kick finds the mark. Oh my goodness. Kick to the spine. Well, that'll do some serious damage. He's in off the tag. My goodness, did you hear that shot? Target square on McDonough. Trouble's coming. Caught the leg. And a standing moonsault. That extra rotation creates so much more force than a standard splash. Now look at this aggression, just pure brutality. Come on, easy. Prime example of... is trapped. Pump handle! Slam! And now Trick is playing to the crowd. And he gets the tag. Bullseye with the drop kick. He's absorbing some tough hits now. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course they're gonna wind up with a few battle scars. Stretching and tearing at all the ligaments in the leg. Uh-oh. Well placed elbow to the leg. This is where great cardio makes all the difference, helping you stay alive deep into the match. Vicious right forearm. Tagging his partner in now. Oof. A celebration of victory in this match where some devious offensive action earlier on put them in control. It took plenty of cunning and some killer instinct, but what a win. Maybe not the words I would have chosen for describing how they pulled this off, but yeah, they won. Don't blink or you'll miss Nathan Frazier. The following contest is scheduled for one thumb. Making his way to the ring from Jersey in the Channel Islands. Weighing in at 182 pounds, Nathan Frazier! 
Nathan Fraser in a short time has already proven to be one of the best high flyers in all of WWE. And he's also proven he'll rattle everyone's cages and tell some hard hitting truths. I like this guy. Grayson Waller is in full effect. You think he could maybe dial it down to half? And his opponent from Sydney, Australia, weighing in at 206 pounds, Grayson Waller! Well, Grayson Waller never met a superstar or rule that he got along with. Certainly has his own way of doing things, and it's risen his stock very quickly here in WWE. If Waller wins, we'll never hear the end of it. I bet he's smartly already drafted a victory speech. Kicking things off with Nathan Frazier, one of the rising stars of the British wrestling scene, looking to make his name here in WWE. I would argue he's already made his name, Cole. Being in WWE just allows him to get to that next level. He has talent, motivation, and innovation all on his side. Nathan Frazier truly has the world in front of him. Fair enough, Corey. Let's see if he can take that next step here tonight. And he's in for a hell of a fight against the one and only Grayson Waller. Every time Grayson Waller has a microphone in his hand, you can hear the collective groan of the WWE Universe. But when he gets rolling on offense, those groans do turn into gasps. A forearm right to the jaw. Someone's about to take a nap. What? Boom! Good night. And targeting the leg there. Grayson lining him up from the top turnbuckle. Launching. Diving leg drop. Mamma mia! Frazier's focus got rattled there. Yeah, and after that offense, I think Waller's confidence only grew. Somehow, some way. Getting him into the corner. Nice. Chop. Grayson now has a leg up in this match. And I don't think anything can stop Grayson now. Moonsault. Corey, Grayson Waller is relatively inexperienced. That has to put the odds against him tonight, doesn't it? Not at all, Cole. While Waller's just getting started here, we've already seen how innovative he can be. I think if Waller relies on that surprising offense, he should be able to catch his opponent off guard. Oh, targeting the arm. This has got to hurt. Pulverizing the arm is a great way to create an advantage. Basically forcing your opponent to fight one-handed. Oh! And this one might be headed ringside. Well-framed standing moonsault. Sure was pretty, but we don't judge matches on style points. Now, oh, trampling the opposition. Razor not backing down one bit. Uh-oh. Somersault plancha to the floor. Toss Carson out the window, and it paid off. Adrenaline is through the roof now. Cracked around into a neck breaker. Grayson falling victim to a surge of attacks here. Waller's got to find a window to fight back. Right on the lower back. Ridiculous standing shooting star. Acrobatics like that take a tremendous amount of cardio and strength. Great counter impressive ring IQ on display there. Huge boot. He's testing fate here in danger of a count out. Set down, here we go. Uh-oh. He's getting pushed onto the defensive. 
Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Guys, we can be looking at the start of one of the all-time great sports entertainment rivalries. Way to put the cart before the horse, Cole. Sure, there's potential here. There always is. But they're not exactly having to be ripped apart from each other yet. Oh, strong impact! to be. Why not a fair fight, huh? Look at that insult to injury with that one. The disrespect can be tasted in their mouth. Measured knee drop. Boom! Oh, what an elbow! Devastating flourish from Waller there. Got off guard by Waller, who's using innovative offense to great effect. to the back of the neck. Practically never-ending blows coming at full force here. Oh, look at this aggression, just oh, pure brutality. Come on, easy. That was showing great awareness of positioning, placing yourself between the ref and your opponent. But he still has more work to do to get this fully in his favor. Swinging neckbreaker connects. He's able to fend off the attack. Basement drop kick. A huge target on the knee after that. That's a bad landing. Oh, man, Nick. Cover, cover. He's able to beat a two count. That's smart. Taking the one to catch your breath. And Frazier able to reverse that. Uh-oh. Dropping the elbow right on the knee. Ah, oh, stops the legs. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Inverted face lock. Driven down with an elbow to the heart. The end is looming now. And this is, uh, well, it's not looking good. Frazier up top with the frog splash. Nice. Frazier putting his talents to good use. Well, after winning the matchup, out of the ring and time to hit the show. Oh, yeah, come on now. Of course, we should have known better. Oh, thank goodness here. Said all the way to the outside. Thank goodness. Noble display. Behold the modern day witch. Uh, Don gives me the creeps. Is a tag match set for one fall. Introducing first from Glasgow, Scotland, Isla Dawn. Isla Dawn approaches every match with zero fear because she's the one to be feared. With her villainous intentions and mean streak, she's probably right about that. We'll see if Isla Dawn's spells and spirits can get the job done tonight. Whoa, you better be careful, Corey. She might just put a curse on you. Where there's smoke, there's Alba Fire. A woman who says she will let her flames guide her path to the top. And her partner from Glasgow, Scotland, Alba Fire! 
easily the most dominant woman in NXT UK history. She held the women's title for 649 days. And in NXT, she won the Dusty Rhodes Classic alongside Io Sky. Well, no matter what brand she's on, her name is always in the title picture. inflict untold psychological torture and physical agony. It would appear that the annihilation of the women's division is imminent. turned up to 11. The diabolical entity of Alba Fire and Isla Dawn rose to infamy during their annihilation of NXT, which only intensified their desire to cause widespread agony and suffering. The devastation of their cryptic powers is realized when they can... And will this be it? She kicks out in one. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. Jeez. Dropkick hits the mark. Wicked kick to the lower back. Elbow right to the nose. She's going up. Top rope here. From the top. Elbow drop. And Caden Carter is going full tilt here. Carter isn't holding anything back. Fence off the three count. Very close. Fatigue clearly set again. Got the leg. Elbow drop to the knee. She's enduring some damage. Caden put a hurting on her with that one. That's a tag. Tag made. Tandem offense incoming. Set off the ropes. Trip, drop kick, and the exclamation point. Topea Tomiko. That was that chemistry you cannot teach. Jarring impact. Ow! Foot, meet, back. Take off. Big splash! Off into the pin. And there's the save. Let's keep fighting. That's how you wear down your opponent. Might take her head clean off her shoulders. Oh, God, face first. Dawn's defense is being whittled down. Tough spot for Isla. Such a risk at this juncture is questionable. Oh no! Now possibly setting up for a submission maneuver. Oh, what? Almost a miraculous escape. 
And a side slam. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Tag made. Tag made. And surely she hears how high the referee's count has gotten at this point. Well, if she does, maybe she just doesn't care. Across the top rope, what a hot shot. That's pressing. Added damage. Placing their opponent in position for the second rope with a moonsault. Tag in. Double knees. Here's a cover. Could be it. She breaks the ref's count. Kicking out now sends a very clear message. Boom, what a kick. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Now tagging her in. in a precarious position here. Spiked with a heat seeker. Is it enough? The cover! Two! Oh! There's a crucifix. Nicely done. Tagged in. Flying into the corner. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Nice counter from Chance. Ooh. Not drop toe hold. Face first. Oh, look at head scissors. DDT! Incredible. She got the shoulders down. Shoots up before two. She just will not give up, Cole. All measured up. Drop kick to the back. Never saw it coming. And Alba perhaps not the only one with a killer instinct in this one. That spirit of chance is proving hard to contain. Made her pay for her mistake. This, this superstar using the rope as a weapon. This is uncalled for. Come on! <laughs> and Alba got bottled up there. Big knee to the midsection. At this point, this is incredibly ill-advised. You're in the middle of a match. She gets it. Oh, my God, look at this. Suplex. She bails in a hurry. And Dawn telling the crowd to watch her. Grabs their opponent by the ankles. Oh, you power bomb. That might be it. So she tags in. Saw that one coming. Picks the leg of their opponent, steps through. Here we go. Rolling death lock. Rolling death lock. And for some reason, she lets go of the hold. Could have just been a tease of the potential agony that's yet to come. One. Wow, springboard attack. The party bus 
house is going to be full tonight after this win from Carter and Chance. I gotta admit, it just seems so natural for Caden and Katana to win a match like this. Yes, Byron, Big E's on Raw. Time to hop aboard the positivity bus, gentlemen. The following contest is a triple threat match. And it is for the WWE United States Championship. Introducing the challenger, representing the New Day from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 285 pounds, Big E. Big E was told for years, you gotta be more serious. But he did things his way, and the result, he made it all the way to the top. Yeah, Big E managed to find an edge while still swiveling his hips. It's fight night! Behold the power of the Celtic Warrior. And introducing the challenger, representing the Brawling Brutes from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus! The WWE Universe is finally giving Sheamus his just due. Has won nearly every major title has earned Every major accolade, but he still loves to fight. The look in his eyes says Sheamus is ready for another five-star brawl. You think this guy cares about ratings? It is time for the Don to make that money. And introducing the champion, representing the D'Angelo family from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 240 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, Tony D'Angelo! The Don of WWE says he's all about tradition. Yeah, I'm not sure how legal that tradition is. Well, D'Angelo has already developed quite the family in NXT, amassing success and winning titles. But now the question is, can he keep focused and succeed in all of WWE? Well, he better, because there's always competition to unseat the Don. One of the most prestigious titles in all of sports entertainment here for the taking, the United States Championship. The United States Championship is in jeopardy of changing hands in this triple threat matchup. Heads will be on a swivel in this one with Big E, Sheamus, and Tony D'Angelo. This is a... Okay, he breaks up the hold. Into the corner now. Oh! Taken down to the mat. What's coming next? Back suplex. Ooh. Very nice. Oh, and a stomp. Boom, running STO plants him. Nicely done. Caught in a bad position here. Oh, man, taking it to the trachea. Tackles ruthless. Close line. What impact. Splash. 
Nash. Here's the pin. Title on the line. A kick out to stay alive. Able to squeeze that shoulder out. So close. No clue what he hopes to find out there. If you're looking to cause quick, sharp damage, you can't go wrong with the kendo stick. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. And what he's looking for here looks like a potential submission maneuver coming. The effect. How do you escape the abdominal stretch? Like that. Nice counter from Big E. Oh, look at the double team here. Uh oh. Oh, face first. You know the old saying about the enemy of my enemy? I think we just saw that play out. The challenger's looking shaken. Heavy body shots. Whipped hard. Oh, what a close line. Whatever's playing here can't be good. No, someone called a dentist. Delicious power slam. Ooh, well measured. Right to the kidneys from behind. Side headlock applied for a good Punch. measure. Big boot! Oh, just deadlifting their opponent! Tossing their opponent like they're nothing. And a message sent there letting the champion know the kid gloves are off. From behind, back suplex. <laughs> belly to belly suplex. Close line. Good lord. So effective. <laughs> uh oh, this is not going to end well. Nice suplex. Put in a position now. Ooh, nasty shot to the throat. To the outside. This could get wild. He's thinking a steel chair is just what he needs to wreak some havoc here. Nasty! The hardest part of the ring. There's no... Canadian backbreak. Now the backbreaker. This is excruciating. Oh, what an escape! Run out of ringside and back to the mat. Sheamus with the iris. Oh. I don't think Sheamus is done by her. Three massive Irish curse backbreakers with the championship on the line. He breaks up the pin and Corey. I love it. Ooh, what a damaging Ooh. Back elbow right on the side of the face and another. Down they go. Here's the pin on the line. A defiant kick out after one. Not quite enough to put him away. And the Don hooks the leg. Tony D'Angelo. Oh. Swinging fisherman suplex. Kick right to the face. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Looking for something, anything under the ring. Squaring off the announce table. One wicked attack after another. Big boot. And look at this. The blood seeping down Sheamus' face. And he tosses it back in now. Biggie on the receiving end. Heading up, he's thinking big. He's getting up, but there's danger in front of him. Ooh. Look out! The top diving hammer strike. The Celtic Warriors' chances are waiting. Look, Shamus loves a fight, but he can't be liking this. 
Great wherewithal on the counter. What now? Oh, not to the belly. Bicycle knee strike. Ouch. Here we go. Oh, inspiring power by the Celtic Warrior. Just in the nick of time. Uh-oh, this is not going to look pretty. Submission being applied. How do you escape the abdominal stretch? Like that. Smart strategy. Attack the knee. Oh, just turn that around. The powerhouse of the New Day has his opponent up. Incoming. Big time. An attempt for the championship. The challenger stays alive. Wow. I thought for sure that was it. There he goes. Right into the corner. To retain the title. And the champ retains. A group to be feared, the Judgment Day. Yeah, a ruthless, cutthroat collective. The following contest is a triple threat tag team match. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 439 pounds, Finn Balor. The Judgment Day have become a well-oiled machine of brutality. Yeah, basically, they become of one mind, a singular focus of dominance. A win for one is a win for all, and they all will win tonight. The Judgment Day truly at the height of their powers. Their accolades continue to grow. Yeah, their list of victims continues to grow as well, Michael. They want to be feared and respected. Well, I don't respect them, but I definitely fear them. Here comes Angel and Umberto. Fighting for their family name, and the ladies love it. And at a combined weight of 403 pounds, Angel Garza and Umberto. Los Lotharios! I have to say, Los Lotharios have always been a threat, but they've brought a new level of aggression as of late. I agree, Corey, though I think they could probably cut down on the ringside flirting. That's like asking the sun not to shine, Saxton. Los Lotharios are hoping for a quick win here so they can hurry back to all their adoring fans. Uh, don't hold your breath, ladies. Imperium 
has arrived. A united group with one unwavering mission to prove that the mat is sacred. Imperium clearly are not here to have fun, but you have to respect their mission statement of the mat being sacred. Oh, I do, but I've seen your matches, Saxton, and you do not respect their mission statement. Have you seen my matches? I definitely consider the mat sacred. Oh, my gosh. He's undefeated. Precision offense, incredible in-ring skill. That's the calling card of Imperium. And it is one that has brought them great success. Tag team tornado match underway. Multiple teams facing off, but there will only be one winner. Everyone competing at once. You really need to know the status of your partner and every opponent in this match. Arm ringer applied. We know that taking out the legs is one of the most effective strategies in any match. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. No, it is aggression, just pure oh. brutality. Oh, easy. Meanwhile, Damian Priest. And into the count. Damn. Short clothesline hits its mark. Running Hurricane Rana. Fantastic. And just like that, they kick the tempo up a notch. your best shot at winning in a no disqualification match. You lean into the stipulation and leave no stone unturned. Use everything at your disposal to get the win. Otherwise, what's the point? longer sent into the corner straight impact on the throat well scouted by Umberto unbelievable athleticism it takes a certain level of athleticism to pull that off watch this display of power just using the adrenaline to stay in the match we're no closer to a winner just yet to the gut. Hooked up. Clearly had a strategy going on there with the attention on the leg.
was a perfectly placed target. And didn't see that boot coming.
And teamwork makes the dream work in this tag team victory. Every match is special. But the Apex Predator is here. It's hard to believe it's been two decades on the hunt in WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 275 pounds, the Viper, Randy Orton! This may sound hard to believe, gentlemen, but I think Orton might have actually loosened up a little recently. It's more of a relaxed confidence. Randy Orton knows he's at the top of the game. Yeah, but let's not forget, Randy Orton can still go to that dark place when he has to. And you don't want Orton going old school on you. It's a true test for this guy. Austin Theory is a complete package of speed, athleticism, and strength. Austin Theory is ready for action, and he can go all day. And his opponent from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory! Already has an ego way beyond his years, and it's getting stronger by the day. Somehow, some way, this superstar needs to figure out how to keep the Viper out of his own psyche. I'm not sure that's possible. You might be right on that account, Saxton. Ladies and gentlemen, there have been plenty of superstars who would be called cocky during my time in this business, but Theory has made it a point to be the very definition of cocky during his time in WWE. Look at Theory defining a whole generation. Absolutely impressive of him. A man who doesn't want to wait his turn. A man who knows his worth. A man who knows everything is owed to him. I didn't mean what I said to be a good thing, Corey, though I won't deny Theory's in-ring talent. It's just that, and neither will he. And he has taken on Randy Orton, who has become, dare I say it, a kinder, gentler Viper? You may not dare. Orton is a kinder Viper, just a smarter one. He's learned to adapt and improve with each year, and it's only made him more potent as a superstar. And a series of vicious stomps. Putting the boots to an opponent will take the fight out of them in a hurry. Luthez press by Randy Orton. Every strike more devastating than the last. Tough position to be caught in here. 
it off. You can see the dominance on display by Orton. And Orton's turned the match in his favor. Well scattered reversal there. Opportunity now for Theory to capture some momentum. Austin was getting grinded down, but could have just started a quick turnaround here. Boy, oh, you're a pin uppercut. Theory sidesteps. And control here with a swinging neckbreaker. Textbook. Orton lining up his opponent carefully, dropping the knee. And Theory's cockiness may have just opened him up for some tide-shifting offense there. That's just Orton doing what he does best and letting him know he's not going anywhere. Ah, oh, what a smash! That is just insulting. Many superstars have butted heads with Randy Orton over the years. From what you've seen in those matches, what's a winning strategy against the Viper? You have to match the Viper's intensity. If you're not fighting twice as hard as he is, then he's going to devour you. So get your head in the game and attack like you mean it. Whoa, elbow. Austin looking to embarrass his opponent. And that holds Theory back. Oh no, trapping the arm. A vicious stomps to the hand. You can feel the resentment building with each stop there. Boom! Oh, stiff uppercut. And if the first stop doesn't send you the message, the hold on a second. He might be finding a submission hold here. Hit a single leg camel clutch in a great counter. Uh -huh. And he's just in reach of the ropes and gets it to force the break. The ropes become a competitive best friend in depth. He can end it here. And he kicks out at two. He got close there. It could be do or die time. This one is headed to the outside, not by choice. Hard to come back from that kind of impact. The devastating Orton stop. Whoa. Taking his time. Orton's planning and calculations paying off there. Just as he planned it. And Orton is clearly looking for a fight here. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. And now gets tossed into the ring. Oh, God. Theory has lost any momentum here. Yeah, some flaws in Theory's game plan are showing. Patella Brainbuster. Theory showing off as much as he is showing out there. When you got it, flood it. And Theory just did. He just won't give up. Theory looking for a win in the now with oh, the ATL. Orton is done. Cover. Two. Kick out. I thought it was finished off for sure. That was amazing. Orton is still in this. The Viper still has a lot of fight left in him. And Theory clearly thought he had it there. He might have to consider a new strategy at this point. Shoulders down. And he is saved by the ropes. Carefully placed stop to the arm. Morton going to that place could be academic from here. Going for sliced bread. We're going to counter power slam. Gut kick. Nothing fancy there. So ruthless. He thinks he has it. And he only stays down for a one count. 
shows that this is still anybody's match at this point. A big kick to the gut and a clubbing forearm. Lined him up. Boom! Knock him down. Ouch. From the top. Diving elbow drop. Are you kidding me? Cover. Kick out just before two. I can't believe it. He just won't go away. And look, now Orton is busted open. Might be able to stop the Viper once and for all right here. And Theory, A-Town down. Will that clinch it for Theory? Two. What a win for Theory. Here is your winner, Austin Theory. And it's Randy Orton on the losing end of this one. It looks like Randy's beside himself. Guys, shut up. I got this. It's fight night! Ladies and gentlemen, fight night is officially underway. Yeah, after the brawling, Brutes competed in their first War Games match. I think the entire WWE Universe developed a new found respect for the Brutes. We are about to see the fight of a lifetime. Here we go, gentlemen. Huge title match coming up. And a huge opportunity for the champ to prove to everyone that there truly is none better in all of WWE right now. The following contest is a tag match set for one thumb, and it is for the Raw Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 458 pounds, Butch and Ridge Holland, the Brawling Brutes. And their opponents at a combined weight Here we go, gentlemen. The tag team titles are up for grabs. Final preparations between partners before the action begins.
With the brawling brutes in action, you just know that sooner or later, this is going to devolve into one of those all-out brawls right in front of us. A team of proud, proud men who love to fight. Love to fight, love to get a little rowdy. I wouldn't go as far as to call the brutes hooligans, but I would suggest all bystanders clear the way when the brutes are around. Yeah, easier said than done when it's fight night. Anyone could end up on the brutes bad side. And as their opponents, you need to cut the ring in half. You're facing a team with great synergy. Keeping them apart will be essential to success. Isolation is certainly a key to neutralizing any great tag team. There's a special word that I can't say on air for that type of slap. Hey, keep things T for team, Corey. Something's about to go either very wrong or very right. Well, look out. Oh, the way to the outside. They got all of that. Just taking flight and soaring through the sky. Sharp elbow to the gut turns that one around. It up. Nice suplex. Down to Odin and a double axe handle smash. Big double axe handle. Otis is feeding off the WWE Universe. He takes control. He's tagging out. Some showboating from Ridge here. He's taking a moment to feel the crowd, but he better focus on the opposition. Okay, already we get it. Stop looking for adulation for the crowd and get back into the fight. Cover by the challenger. He kicks out with authority. He's not even close to being done yet. Shoulder tackle. Hammering down on the knee. Right across the back of the neck. Wrench in the arm. Man, what a clothesline. Oh, oh. Slides him back to the mat. Tag is made, and he's coming in hot. Caught him right in the jaw. Ugh, what a shot. Point in the match that could have gone either way. Got the tag. Got the tag. Over and over. Establishing complete control. No other way to say it, guys. That looked like it hurt a lot. Oh man. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Oh my gosh, what impact! Time to go for a ride. On oh, Explorer Suplex. The challenger eating up some damage. Yeah, very motivated Gable in front of us. Ooh. prefers to be showboating right now. Okay, already we get it. Stop looking for adulation for the crowd and get back into the fight. He's got it. Oh, ho, ho. let's get it on. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Check your face out to that one. Drives a foot into the stomach. Here 
holds a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Double big back body drop. Ripped in the hard way. The champ trying to roll with these hits. Holland will be dangerous if he can keep dishing out offense like that. What's coming next? Back suplex. Ooh. Very nice. Ooh. Ooh. Stiff headbutt. Rich Hall and Hall shut out the power with the Rich Press. For the championship! He stopped the count for his partner. I don't think Otis is aware of the danger that's coming. Rich Holland! Another grit by Rich Holland. The title might change hands. Three, no, no, two count. What a display of stamina. The champ showing they're truly worthy of this title. But things might only get harder from here. And it may just take going to the well one more time with that maneuver to gain the pinfall. What a moment! Here are your winners! Ridge Holland and Butch! The Brawling Brutes! And these two really do make the perfect pair. You gotta think the Brutes are buying around at the pub after this sort of win. The crowd is singing for Seth freaking Rollins. The best dressed man in WWE and a pretty darn good conductor, too. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, the WWE Champion, Seth freaking He's held the Intercontinental, the U.S., the WWE, and the Universal titles each on multiple occasions. Truly one of the greats of the era. All it takes is one lucky punch, and Logan Paul can beat anyone, even this guy. Time to go viral with one of the most polarizing figures in pop culture. And his opponent from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 205 pounds, Logan Paul! Well, love him or hate him, his career is off to an amazing start. You're right, Saxton. This guy nearly ended the 800-plus day universal title reign of Roman Reigns in just his third match. Come on! Riddle Got to get himself locked in to go against the visionary. Yeah, I'm sure he's done his homework, and I'm sure he's well aware that Seth Rollins can easily manipulate you into making a mistake.
And I've cut Corey's mic so I can just calmly say that we'll start things off with Seth freaking Rollins. With his combination of creativity, athleticism, and skill, Rollins considers himself the guiding light of WWE, a beacon for the company, an example of what a... Takedown, went into the cross face, it's cinched in, this could be over. We're gonna free the arm and does just that. Solar plexus. Oh, an inverted DDT. His shoulders are down. Great officiating as the rep noticed he was on the ropes. And Paul caught by surprise. Oh, knee right to the face. Oh, man. Logan Paul is a surprising opponent in every sense of the word. Yeah, Cole, but you know that Rollins has the brains to beat anyone. Paul is going to have a hard time keeping up with that in-ring IQ. Whoa, just floating through the air. And Logan Paul unable to gain focus then. Yeah, as Rollins is putting that visionary offensive mindset to work. And frustration might be starting to set in. Jumping knee drop. So precise. Single leg drop kick caught him. A calculated attack here against Logan. Yeah, and Seth's planning has proved difficult for Logan Paul. <laughs> Rollins kick to the gut. Oh. Trying to put them away, able to counter into a close line. Momentum shifts to Paul's corner. That might be what gets Logan out of jeopardy. Drop kick from behind. Ouch. Drop after elbow drop, torturing and punishing the opponent. Ruthless. Just never had a chance to block any of those. Right to the leg. <laughs> oh, what a close line. Forcefully delivered. Ooh, what a nasty kick. Insulting. I don't know if there's any ounce of professionalism in an attack like that. Goodness gracious. Logan is sustaining the attack. Yeah, and Paul continuing to be a thorn in the side of Rollins. To stop in every single part of his body. That was a showing of control and aggression. Something they'll want to keep up. Oh, just in case the first few didn't hurt, there's another. body shot. He's starting to struggle here. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. Big back body drop. The cover shoulders down. Shoulder up and the referee ends the count. He clearly has no intention of staying down. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Rollins can't find any reprieve right now. Paul's doing a great job remaining engaged with the opposition. Paul just obliterated Rollins with that vicious offense. Where the high splash! Paul's just about to finish this. And he's still in the game. Seth freaking Rollins with a close freaking call. I don't know how he survived that. And I get that Paul thought he had him there. But he really needs to follow up. He can't let time cost him this match. Took a gamble once, took a gamble again, and hit the jackpot twice. Oh, and a stop. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Whoa. Oh, look at a torch of their opponent. Uh oh, this isn't going to be good. Ah, oh, it's tough to bounce back from that. Three, Who knows where this will end up next? I have no idea. Ah, oh, jumping knee strike. Lights out. <laughs> oh, sister, look at these series of boots. The visionary allowing us all to appreciate his very presence. Appreciate him while you can, folks. He's not getting... Oh, he grew tired of his smug attitude. Yeah. 
setting up for something here. And that's a nasty gash on the face of Logan Paul now, guys. Oh, he right to the face! Oh, man. Oh, man. He didn't need that eyebrow anyway. Amazing sequence from Rollins. This is Logan Paul's perseverance getting tested. Ripcord applied. Boom! Knock him down. Ouch. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Get to the gut by Rollins. A punch. Stop. Logan's chances are dwindling. Shoulders down. I'm not sure if he's foolish or courageous, but Logan Paul keeping himself alive against all odds. And we know Rollins has a temper. You have to think he's starting to get in his own head a bit. What we've witnessed tonight from Logan Paul and Seth Rollins has been an absolute display of fighting spirit. Oh, man. Oh, ouch. He is looking to do some serious. Outside the ring now. Textbook fireman's carry takeover. This match is spilled out to the. Nice Russian leg sweep and the octopus stretch is applied. Well, this won't. He's in deep, deep trouble here. Well, maybe not. Able to slip out of things in a couple of them. Hands right to the mouth. Three. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Oh, he knew what was coming. And another counter. Oh, maybe time to start burning it down. Rollins is starting to roll. Kicks to the face. Oh, man. Good grief. Turn your lights out. And he's already taken more hits up there than he should have to handle. Super kick out. After the schoolboy, my goodness. Seth Rollins hooking his opponent. Oh my god, a small package driver. If this lands, it's over. He misses the target. Short flight, but a rough landing. Go oh, right to the kidneys. God, Lee. Taking this match off the mat now. Look at that high frog splash! Will that do it for Logan Paul? Will that do it? Finally ends it. And all the bloodshed. Perhaps worth it now. Here is your winner, Logan Paul! The social media sensation has done it. Logan has silenced all the doubters, including Rollins. Yeah, Corey, but you and I both know Seth does not stay down.